Hey guys, Kyle here, starting episode 20 of Pandora with Kyle. I've been working a little bit uh, between last episode and this episode on making this automated uh, apiary system uh, a little fancier and also twice as big. So I built the single one in the other episode, I added a second one and sort of just shifted everything over. I've kind of covered a lot of it up so it's probably hard to see, but it's basically the same thing. Um, I just made it twice as wide. So we moved the sorter to the center. We have two filters, two apiaries. We painted all the pipes the same. So there's uh, magenta there, white down below, our overflow, and then finally orange. So um, it's been running. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. We have nothing in that one, and we have some um, honeycomb in that one. So if I flip this lever, it should pull out a honeycomb, mark it, send it down into the chest and uh, that pulled all of it it looks like so I should have three honeycomb down there now perfect um, what we need to do though is a couple things first we need to not have a lever here to manage this thing I want to do something with a, uh, a timer so that it runs automatically and then the other thing we need to do is to join this system up with our um, logistics system. So instead of a chest there, we're going to have a relay. So uh, let me clean up my inventory because I've made a mess out of it trying to get all this stuff working. And uh, I'll come back and we'll get started on that. Alright, so I decided instead of a um, relay, since I already had the chest here, I would just make this a whole lot simpler and we'll put a redstone engine down and a wooden transport pipe and a lever somewhere but we need to figure out where this pipe is going I think it's gonna go straight over this way for a little bit uh, am I too deep? not deep enough where is the I need to get to the pipes, which should be coming out right about here. Uh, is this them? Yes. Hey, look, perfect. That's what I was looking for, too. I need it to connect up to a logistics spot. So let's just bring it up this way. Okay, and we'll try to fill in the holes that we've made as we go. Pipe, pipe, pipe. Oops. So we'll just throw the lever down right there. Perfect. So that should start bringing these items all the way back into my system. Now let's, uh, these have probably cycled through, both of them. So let's just manually run this a couple of times. So that should have pulled out all of the stuff from both of these. Perfect. Now we'll get it to pull the next lot out, which is a whole bunch of drones. So each of these should now have a drone. Perfect, perfect. The next we're going to pull out drones again, I believe. Right, okay. And those should end up all the way into the chest. Yes, they do. And they'll get pulled out here shortly. And finally, the queens. Which should go in there. And then we'll start breeding again. Cool. Alright. Um, let me close up some of the stuff in the back here now that I'm done. Back here. Back here. 
and we need to make a timer. So let's head back in and start making some stuff. We also want to make sure that the uh, stuff that just entered our system, look at that, there it is, honeycomb. Moving very slowly, but nonetheless, there it is. Um, and it should end up, well, it doesn't have a home, so we don't, I don't really know where it'll end up. This is getting very full. Apparently, this chest is full. Hmm. Gonna have to do something about that shortly. I'm running out of chest space. Anyway, um, we need to make some wafer thingies. So let's just grab half a stack of these and just cook up some smooth stone. I already have some, but I'll just use that as a destination for it. Um, here come the bees. All right, so I'm going to let that stone cook up, and then uh, I'll be right back. All right, while I wait for the rest of this smooth stone to cook up, I'm going to make a special kind of crafting table that's usually fairly handy for these kind of projects, and it's called a project table. So it's a chest, um, a crafting table, smooth stone, and wood, I think. I might have these two backwards. Yeah, there we go. That gives you a project table, and the project table is kind of cool. I'm just going to put it over here in the corner because it lets you fill inventory down here, and then you can build your um, recipe, and as you pull out of here, it just pulls the resources from this spot. So kind of handy to just keep all your resources in one place. Um, I think this is finally done. So in order to get started with this timer, which is a uh, kind of an integrated circuit kind of thing, we need to make some wafers up. So if we cook again smooth stone, we'll get, you'll see it pop through here real quick, as a stone wafer. So let me grab this other stuff. And it looks like my chests are getting very full. Um, and I'll throw the rest of these in here. All but one. Did I leave one in here? Yes, I did. Okay. So that should get that going. And they should be popping in over here. So six of them for now. That's good enough. What we're going to do is make a simple little timer circuit. So first thing we need to do is make some stone wires. Um, I need... Probably need a couple of them. So, three of those should do. And then we're going to need some stone cathodes. And I need to go get more stone wafers. We will make a couple of these. So we need, I think, just one of these. And then we need one with smooth stone on the top. And these are all just sort of the basic logis uh, logic things. And then we're going to make a timer. So the timer is one of these, one of those, three stone wires, two of these, cathode, and a pointer. Done. Uh, and it's nighttime. I'm going to sleep through the night and then, well, actually, I got one more thing to make, so I might as well make it right now. And that's going to require redstone. Where is all my redstone? Oh, it's over here, isn't it? Not much left. So this thing finished, by the way. We've got six of these now. Uh, and I don't have enough redstone for the other thing I wanted to make. I think we're okay. So I'm going to go sleep through the night, and then we'll go place this thing down. All right, so... We've got some stuff going on in all these so far. I think I'm going to end up 
picking them up when I pick this up, but that's okay. Uh, it doesn't look like I can get that lever. Not a huge deal. So let's place this timer down. And I'm going to need to rotate it. Dang it. All right. We get to make a new tool. One I haven't made yet. Called a screwdriver. It's essentially the uh, tool for red power. Sort of like the wrench for industrial craft and the wrench for um, build craft. This is just the tool for this particular thing. We seem to have a serious overflow issue. Um, hmm. Gonna have to do something about that very shortly. So I need a stick and iron, I think. Stick and iron. And we'll make a screwdriver. Okay. Let's go out here and rotate that thing because only two of the sides actually tick off with the timer and of course I have it turned in such a way that it's neither of the sides that touch this stuff. There we go. So let's change this to about every three seconds. That should be doing both. So this shouldn't have anything in it, and this shouldn't have anything in it. And I can actually even turn it down even slower. Let's just make it every 10 seconds. That way it's uh, simple on the... It doesn't cause a whole lot of lag on the server. If you get a lot of these timers going really fast, it can cause a lot of lag on the server. So cool. I think uh, we're processing stuff down here now. Now the other thing I could have done is put it back over there, but oh well. Alright, so I'm going to button that up, and uh, it should be good to go. Are we close to killing off? We are close to killing off our bees, so I kind of want to see that happen. It'll be kind of cool. Um, just to make sure that everything works. Even though it's, it's on a 10 second delay, so it will possibly take a while before it restocks the apiaries, but at least it's completely automated. So, hurry up and die. There we go. So we should start seeing this thing. There it goes pulling out one. And now it's going to be ten seconds or so before it pulls out the queens. And there goes a queen and a drone. So that one's going to get going again. And then this one, then in the next 10 seconds, should pull the next. And there it goes. Perfect. That is automated wax production. Well, not quite automated wax production yet. So we should start seeing those things coming through. And I have a big, huge problem going on right now. Uh, yeah. What am I going to do to fix this? That's kind of weird that we got one that's just stuck right there. Um, let's do this to fix this really quick. Let's grab some of these and we will make some more pipes and some more of this. I need these and glass and redstone. Oh, I can only make two or one. Um, and glass. Okay, so I have all that stuff. So I need two of these.
All right, and then we want to make some recyclers because we're apparently making a ton. So I need four pieces of refined iron and some glowstone. Get some refined iron going. Glowstone and dirt was the last thing. I have dirt. All right, so let's put those there. That one that's stuck in there is funky. Uh, actually, I don't have the stuff to make the chassis pipe either. Leave that. Let's do this. How much gold do I have? I have enough gold. Let's upgrade this chest to gold. That will make it much bigger and hopefully help us out a little bit here. So iron to gold. Uh, gold around a piece of iron. So I don't think I've done one of these yet, so you saw me just make the recipe for it, so now I've got this iron to gold chest upgrade really handy because you don't have to pick this chest up. If I right click on it with this item, it automatically turns into a gold chest and it should grab a whole bunch of stacks out of my system, um, which will help out a bunch because at the moment I've got so much cobblestone that it's popping out all over the place. Um, okay, so I still have a ton of it. My quarry must be going crazy down there. Uh, let's do one other thing then. This is something I've been wanting to do here for a little while. We'll connect that up. We'll run one more out here. And we need to get some of this wonderful wax. And my wrench. Wrench, wrench, wrench. And we'll tell it that this is the default route for that. Or not the default route, but the requested route for honeycombs. So now, I don't really want these in here. Now all the honeycomb will show up in here, which is cool. Apparently I left this thing running. Uh, and our automated wax factory should be pretty much complete. Very cool. All right, I'm gonna clean up my inventory and uh, see what we wanna work on next. All right, so we're gonna do a couple of things to just help out my automation and uh, building systems real quick. First thing I'm gonna do is pick up this, uh, let me just check real quick. Eh, still kinda low on power, but uh, we're not doing terrible. If I turn this off, it'll help a whole bunch. How are we doing? Oh, this is gonna need to be on. My quarry is probably shut off. It's actually probably a good thing. I'm going to leave that off. Let my quarry just not run for a little bit because I need to process some of this cobble. Anyway, we're going to pick up this thing, get it out of the way, and we're going to replace this pipe with one of these, and we're going to make a new pipe. We're going to take one of these, and we're going to put gold circuits on either side. This makes the request logistics pipe. This is my favorite pipe in the whole game. So we're just gonna stick it out like that. And what this pipe lets us do is request things out of our system. So everything reports back into the system what it can make. So if we right click on this, you'll see all the stuff that's in that chest that has the uh, provider module, all the other ones I still haven't put provider modules into, I need to do that. 
are in here, plus anything that my system knows how to make. So even though I don't have any biomass capsules, because my system knows how to make it, it shows up here and I can request it. Which also means I can request bog, uh, bog earth and humus and that kind of thing. So now these automatic crafting tables become much, much, much more useful. In fact, let's, uh, let's make some use out of them, because what I want to do... Actually, we might not make use quite out of them yet. I want to make this overclocker. Um, I get tired of making some of these mundane things, like copper cables. So let's make a automatic crafting table. Actually, you know what we should make first? Um, still need the automatic crafting table. And I'm short of gear. How do I manage that? Okay. Uh, we're also going to make, I might as well just make all of these. I need more stuff, but alright, so let's throw this one right here. We will put our pipe on it. And we're going to use this one to teach our system how to make first sticks. So import that. Then I need some more glowstone. Uh, I think I need that many more. Yes. So I need a bunch of sticks. I happen to have a ton of sticks. I can't request them yet because they're in one of these other chests, but no sense in making more sticks when I don't need to. So I need 12. Okay, we'll get these last three placed up here. And then we'll make the last three of these. Okay, so this one's making sticks. Then I want this one to make gears. Import that. I want this one to make crafting tables. Import that. And then this last one is going to make automatic crafting tables, but uh, I need more gears. Since this is the only one that has provider, you'll get to see kind of what this does. So I need four gears. So gears show up in here. If I tell it I want four gears and make a request, you'll see Wooden planks are going to head up into that system, and they're going to get turned into sticks, and then over into gears, and then spit back out all the way to me. There's the four gears. Uh, I also need a crafting table, so let's request one of those. And we'll throw this up here. So a crafting table and the wooden gears gives us an automatic crafting table. Cool. Now it's really easy for me to make those tables. So let's just throw all those sticks in there for now. Um, and we'll make a couple more. So how many more spots do we have on that wall? We have one, two, three, four, five. Let's just make five. Oh, and I am short wooden planks. So let's give it some more wooden planks. You can see down in the bottom left there, it tells me that I was missing wooden planks. Mm -hmm. 
needed a lot of wooden planks, apparently. Oh yeah, because I need the planks for the table itself. Cool. So that should be a whole bunch of crafting going on. Sticks are going in to make gears. Here comes one. Two. Three. Four. And five. Cool. I can probably turn this off now. Oh, nope, it was off. Okay. So let's just run these across. Um, now, one of the things I probably should do is tell it how to make planks on its own. So I'm going to need to make some more um, pipes, but I think I'm out of redstone, and I don't have any torches. Darn. Okay. Well, I'll have to go mining to get that part figured out. Um, at some point I need to start making those pipes, but again, I need more redstone to get this thing going again. Those uh, golden chipsets are becoming the bane of my existence, I think. So let's... one more piece of gold in there, get it making another one of those, because... oops. The module I need, which is this one, requires one redstone golden chipset and a blank module and more redstone. So yeah, let's turn this thing back on. And I might go mining again. Let me see. I'm going to need redstone for the thing over there. Yep, I'm going to go mining. So I'll go mining. I'll be back in a little bit. I might actually... Let's see what we can do about making a miner's backpack. Uh, I could do that, I think. I probably don't have enough string at the moment. Not quite, because I don't have any cotton yet. And those aren't done growing. All right, well, I'll go mining without it, and uh, I'll be back once I have a boatload of redstone. Well, it looks like uh, I have some water that my quarry ran into, which generally isn't a problem, except that my path down uh, will gener will get flooded if I don't clean this up. So I clean up my inventory, I've got my armor on, I've got my sword out. I'm going to go see if I can take care of that water. I think I'm fairly good on monsters down here at the moment. Um, just got a zombie right here, but he's easily taken care of. It's the creepers that are the problem. So, you. That one's taken care of, and it looks like it's been here for a while. I just hadn't noticed. Uh, well, this is going to be difficult. So what I'm going to do is try to place these blocks up here. What did I find? All right, so, and I have to be kind of fast because the quarry arm is going to try to get them. Cool, did it. Kill the monsters. There's another creeper down here. And uh, since I'm here, and there was some rubies over this way, now I've got monsters spawning. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. Getting out of here! Ah! Mm, 
All right, I think I'm good. So anyway, like I said, I'm going to go uh, do some mining here and uh, come back hopefully with a ton of stuff. I'm not just going to get the minimum I need, so it might, I'm probably going to be mining for quite a while, but uh, it'll all be off camera so you guys don't have to stare at it. You know what, guys? We're pretty much right at the 30-minute mark, so I think what I'm going to do is actually mine between episodes instead of uh, during this episode. So this is Kyle with the Brothers Claws wrapping up episode 20 of Pandora with Kyle. Can't believe we've made it all the way to 20 already. Like I said, I'm going to do some mining in between, and I'll catch you in the next one. So I will talk to you later.